um, you're at lit class. So I believe there's uh, a few more classes this week, but this is the last week of these online fitness classes. So first, I just want to say thank you so much for joining us uh, throughout this rest of the semester and working with us. We're so happy that we were able to provide the service to you. Um, before we get started with our last and best HIIT workout, I'm going to read over um, some things that you need to keep in mind. All right, I'm just going to read it straight off the page so it'll go by faster. All right. So uh, keep in mind that today's workout and all of our virtual fitness classes are not prescribed exercises. Make sure to listen to your body and use the modifications that I provide uh, throughout the workout and move safely within your own limits. Um, keep any medical uh, concerns in mind as you do each exercise and consult your physician before starting any exercise routine. Also, make sure you have a water bottle, a towel if you need one, and enough space around you to move throughout the workout. All right? If you have any questions or concerns, please email Olivia Schneider at rec-o-s-c-h-n-e-i-1, the number one, at westga.edu. All right. That was a mouthful. So, let's go ahead and get started. There's the camera. See you back here. If you want music on your end, you can play it on your end. Your, if I play it on my end, then it'll be uh, muffling out the sound of my voice, which is more important than the music part, probably. All right. So we're just going to get started with some arm circles. Forward, really big circles, slow and controlled. All right. And then go backwards. Again, controlling the movement. You're not. You're not just flinging your arms around. Good. All right, front to back, arm swings. Good. All right, now we're going to do some butt kicks, but we're just doing it like we're walking. We're not jogging with it yet. We'll do another round and we'll be jogging and pick up the pace a little bit, get your heart rate going. Oh, I don't even know if I said it, but my name is Megan Johnson, but you can call me MJ, aka the Gym Queen. So glad to have you here today. All right, next you're going to do some squats with a high knee. The squat low, bring your knee high. Again, trying to control the movement. Go as low as you can, comfortably. And then bring your knee as high as you can, warming up your hips. One more. Good. All right, now we're going to do what's called toy soldiers. So you're just going to reach out, touch your foot with your opposite hand. Really warm up your hamstrings. Same thing, opposite hand, opposite foot. 
Let's tap me up a heart. Come in, slowly on your feet. In three, two, one. Good. Rest. Shake it out. Grab me some water if we need it. All right. So for the first round, um, we are going to do three switch lunges, X mountain climbers, and then side to side plank rotation. All right. So first circuit, three switch lunges. We're going to start in a lunge position. Jump up. One, two, three. Lunge down. One, two, three. Lunge down. With each lunge, we will be landing on the opposite foot. So we'll be doing lunges on both legs for this one. All right, and then X mountain climber. We're gonna cross out, we're gonna be in our push up position. Cross our right knee to our left elbow, left knee to right elbow. All right, going fast. And then after that, we have our side to side plank. So either on your hands, just like this, control the movement. One side rotates the other. And then back. Or if you want it to be a little bit easier, you can get on your forearms like this. Like a plank position, rotating to the side. Arm down, rotate to the other side. Just like that, all right? So I'm gonna start my timer over here. So grab you another sip of water if you need it. And we will get started after this ad stops playing. Alright. Ten seconds. Alright, three six lunges. Starting in five. Three. One, let's go. Lunge down, jump up. One, two, three, lunge down. We're going for 30 seconds. Keep going. Lunge and low, landing lightly on your feet. Almost there. Three, two, one, and switch. X mountain climbers, straight into it. Make sure you're crossing. Right knee to left elbow, left knee to right elbow. Almost there. After this, we have side to side plank. Three, Two, one, let's go. So either on our hand or your forearm. Remember, this one is more about control, not speed. Don't, don't try to go fast. Just try to control your movement. Squeeze your core. And rest in three. Two, one, nice job. All right, standing back up, I'm resetting the timer. 15 second break, and we'll, then we're gonna go into our three switch lunges. All right. Good, five seconds left. Three switch lunges in three, two, one, let's go. Lunge down. One, two, three. One, two, three. Remember keeping your chest high, lunging low. Almost there. Keep moving. One and switch. Now we have our X mountain climbers. Push up position. Crossing right knee to left elbow. And then switch. Trying to squeeze your core. Really driving your knees. More than halfway there. Good. Three, two, one, switch. Side plank rotation. 
chin and then we get a break. Two, 
one and switch. Now we're going to our slider tucks. So we'll be in our push up position. Knees in, out, in, out. Really squeezing your core, especially on the way out. Good, almost there. Three, two, one, and switch. So now we're going to plank to push up.
with single leg or heel. So basically, you need balance for this one. You're gonna reach down, lift your one leg up. You don't have to touch the floor, but try to go as low as possible without losing your balance. Really controlling here. Again, this one's not necessarily about speed, more about control. All right, and then next we have alternating slider jacks, okay? So we'll be in our push-up position, and you don't have to have a slider for this, but we're just gonna slide our foot up as high as we can, up the other way, really squeezing our core, okay? And then if you don't have sliders, just touch, touch as far as you can up. After that, our last one, I like to finish on this one, is fast feet. So we'll just go as fast as we can. You can go in circles if you want to. Make it fun for you. All right, but this is our last circuit. If you've made it this far, that means you can make it all the way through. So keep pushing yourself. We're doing it together. All right, so starting in 10 seconds with a single leg RDL, alternating right and left. In three, two, one, let's go. Get you down. Again, it's not about speed, it's about control. Breathe, squeeze your core. It's okay if you lose your balance. Just try to get right back to it. If you focus on the spot on the floor in front of you, it might help with balance. Good, and switching to plank jacks in three, two, one, let's go. So our slider jacks, excuse me. In our push-up position, hands are beneath our shoulders, really squeezing our core, sliding our feet out to the side, and alternating. 10 seconds, keep going, squeezing that core. Three, two, one, and switch. Now we're going to fast feet. So up on your feet, go as fast as you can. You can spin in circles, make it fun for you. As fast as you can, lay the butt on your feet. 15 seconds left, keep moving. Good, get that heart rate up. Almost there, almost there. Resting in three, two, one. Nice job. Check it out. Shake out your legs. 15 second break, and then we're going straight to the RDLs again. Deep breath. Starting in three, two, one. Let's go. RDLs. Alternating right and left. Really controlling. Your movement, squeezing your core. Good, what's there? And switching to alternating plank jacks in three, two, one, and let's go. Push up position, slide your foot out to the side as high as you can while squeezing your core. Do 
switch. Good. All right, just a couple more. We're gonna do a chest stretch, so clasp your fingers behind your back, squeezing your palms together and pushing your hands up.